Hello everyone, this is Anne from Odulcina Scrap. This is an open spine journal. Uh, Heather from Ruby and Pearls XO style, Tollier style. And as well, I followed her tutorial to create that. So I'm going to link in the description below. I'm going to put the link to a tutorial which is, I, I love to do those open spine journal. They are easy to do the signature and I love that it has a hard cover, but it doesn't have like a, a hard spine. I'm gonna remove this faux deed. All right, so I've added Crafty Me Shop laces Crafty Me Shop laces, I've been asked a couple of times lately. Um, you can only buy the laces by joining her Facebook group. The Facebook group is Crafty Space Me Space Shop. Crafty Me Shop. All right. In the description below of this video, I'm going to put the link of the Facebook group as well. All right, so this is my back in time kit, digital kit that I used one of the page and my cover was a little bit larger than eight and a half. So I had to put a little stripe of the digital kit as well at the bottom to make it bigger. So, and this is the other side. So how it works is I just picked uh, the cover of a book which is light blue, as you can see. And I glued on it different papers on both sides, adding the laces. And I just find it's, it's really gorgeous. So inside, I wanted to do like header style, which is a little bit less shabby chic, but she has a lot of laces and lots of papers. And lately, I've, um, I've added to my Etsy shop new digital kits of French documents, French ephemera. And um, I had a lot of them printed because of the print tests. So I ended up using them. This was part of a video, a tutorial video where I showed how to print on piano roll papers. So it's just gorgeous as it is all folded all crinkled it looks so old this is another video where i showed how to do this full document printed on legal size paper so i added it there and then here we have really vintage laces crafty me shop Just cute. All right, so here we have a 3D embossed paper with vintage laces. This is part of my document that I printed. It's all French, written down. Je prie monsieur. <laughs> All right, this is part of my back in time digital kit, but it's printed on a really thin paper with Crafty Me Shop laces. This journal is really full of special papers, the fanciest and vintage laces. This is part of my digital kit as well. Uh, it's a recipe in French with the typewriter. This is the legal size paper, but printed on a regular page. So it's a little bit smaller and I just folded it three times like that. So it fits in the page and it creates a little interaction. And I printed it on a really thin paper as well. So we have the crinkles. I did a video last week to create those scrap pieces of papers into like a little 
snippet with laces that you just attach and look at that page look at that this is just a photocopy paper a white one and when i was doing my coffee stain paper with plastic doilies i i've put one of the plastic that that had coffee on it on the papers and when i removed it it has stained like that and i just love it look at that and we're gonna see the other side um uh, later in the book gorgeous i just love it so anyway it's there it's one kind of a piece i tried to redo that and i've never been able to talk about that um this is just printed on fabric and i just found so cute this this journal is just kind of a a piece of just lovely lovely papers lovely fabrics lovely laces vintage laces this is a uh, modeling paste on a french book page really old you can see all the yellowish another page from my digital printed on a really thin paper Another of my um, little clusters like this one, but instead of putting another paper clip, I just glued the last page here, just that last page at the top. So those are still movable. And this one you can lift it up, but it's kind of attached to the page. So that's another idea. If you're running out of paper clips, I just thought there was too much paper clips following each other's, so I removed one. There you go. This is this is um, part of my sewing kit digital, and I love that fabric, which has blue flowers it's a really thin fabric like almost like a cheesecloth but printed with kind of polka dots on if you can see I love that fabric and because there was blue here I still added the pinch of pink but in this book there's more blue blue aqua and pink another French document printed on the thin paper again just a little piece of lace it makes the whole difference right coffee stain paper look at those stains they're just perfect and i punched the corners with a punch that i have look at that and this one too this is a onion skin paper i'll put the link in the description below i love that paper there's a couple of papers that I bought on Amazon and I'm just in love with them. I should make a, a video to show you which one they are and and what's the result when you print on it or you coffee stain them. So this one is coffee stained with a plastic doily and I just glued a little piece of tulle with flowers. My paper, the ledger side ledger size paper but printed on eight and a half by 11 so it makes it thinner not as large as it would be if you use the real legal size paper but it's great too because it gives you the full pattern smaller for inserts like that when you want to play with different sizes of papers here again it's another paper of the French kit and I just did a pocket but instead of gluing the three sides I just glue two so we have more places to put the ephemera in this is my monochromatic Mrs. Mademoiselle just with mulberry paper at the back I love the edges that it gives just an ephemera and this is um, one of the invoice that I have in my vintage element kit which is a different kit it's all in English so it's an older kit that I have 
but I printed that one on tissue paper. That's why you hear all the crinkles. I love that. All right, on that side, this is real ephemera. So it's a real French vintage envelope. And we must have a date there. It's not antique, it's 77, I think. Not the best writing, but it's a love letter of engage, engage a guy that was engaged to a girl close to my area. And uh, I just did a wax seal. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? And here it's a recipe for a fruit pizza printed on tracing paper and the paper is bluish so printed on tracing paper it looks like it's a real old paper and it goes well with this so they go together and here this is a, a real page from Saramida Saramida's book which is gorgeous if you can find one Look at that. The paper is really like sturdy. I love those book. I've been able to buy a couple so far, but it's a bit like uh, Edit Olden. They're going fast and they're not cheap anymore. So I want to start, look at that. I want to start adding a little bit more of those book pages that I have in my journals. So you have a real page of that. We're gonna see the other side later. But it's it's a little bit like, um, like the Edit Olden book, but I think it's a little bit less popular. Here it's another L'Orphelin, which is, L'Orphelin is a little girl that doesn't have her parents alive anymore um, look at the fonts here so it's a song and um, just to flip like that with the vintage CMS lace crafty me shop lace and here there's embossed here of a rose this here okay look at that page so this page is nothing it's just a white an old an old page from a book we can see just by the texture of the paper I love that white off-white page but I needed to decorate it I didn't want to glue anything so what I've done is I've put one of my papers for journaling with lines gorgeous I love it just like that and I wanted to hold it without a paper clip. So what I did is I had those vintage cards that are 3D embossed and I just decorated the card and I even decorated the inside here. You have a little talk spot because there's magnets inside under this these papers. So you hear that? All right, so I decorated all the sides, keeping the, the emboss flowers. And when I place it like that on my page, it will hold, it's strong enough. So it's holding the paper. And on the other side, it's one of my French elements so it's coca-cola it's an invoice and it's in greenish i've put it there and this is real vintage ledger paper a little piece there so i've just put them like that isn't it cool same for this little um ticket which is an antique uh, ticket but it's one of my it's a reproduction with my digital kit all right, here you have an Edit Olden page and the Crafty Me Shop lace, a sampling, a sampling um, 
bag that I've created in the past. There's a there's a tutorial video on those and I've used a paper clip because I don't want to glue on an edit olden page book page. So just like that and look at that. This is this is the page and it's the middle of the signature. You see the signature is done through a sari silk. Look at that. So I just added some washi tape here, but it was just one page like folded like that, right? And I didn't want to separate the page. So it's folded like that for the middle page. And when you turn it, you have this there. Gorgeous fabric. And I've put a sample um, of laces there just as a decoration or just like that embossed paper just with a paper clip you can see the coffee stain pattern there a music sheet here that has modeling paste you he you have little birds on a branch little birds here too and here it's not glued so you can use it as a little tuck spot my papers, the French paper as well. And here it's the other side of the legal size paper. I've added real vintage wallpaper that I have and it's acting like a tuck spot here. And I've put that lace sample using my top swatches. So this is another digital kit that I have. So with time, I realized I'm, I have a lot of things that I've created in different tutorial videos or testing my prints, my digital. So this is why you should recognize a lot of things there because I've done them on camera. Another pocket here, just glued on two sides with some Crafty Me Shop laces, which is gorgeous. Here I've used the embossed paper, piano roll paper, and this is one of my monochromatic ladies again. And this is another document from my French kit, which had a drawing from a little girl. And it's uh, protégeons les oiseaux, so let's take care of the birds. coffee stain it's the onion skin paper again it's a vintage doily and here these are papers that I received from one of my viewer here and this is packaging papers that let me show you packaging papers like that that she sent me because she wanted to see if I can print on those papers and look at that. This is just so gorgeous. It makes me think about tissue paper, but a little bit more sturdy and grungy. This is my uh, sewing kit digital. Um, I love it. And I'll put her email below. She's from the USA. So if you want some, you can contact her and um, she has a lot so she she wants to create little bundles here a little snippet that i've done in the past with vintage laces polka dot this is another kind of the packaging paper she has so um but i don't know if she has enough of that green but that green is really i love the color on that side here or you have a little pearl here on that side here i just took a little uh, tracing paper and i did just a little bowl like in the old time just as a decoration and i love that this is another of my papers the french papers this is my ladies the i have a new kit with ladies they all have special hats 
and this one is printed on that ragged cotton paper that I showed you in one of the last videos look at that this is this paper is just gorgeous I'll put the link below in the description again in case some of you want to buy some it's from Amazon and I'm just in love with that paper okay here it's just papers cute papers coffee stain paper printed on for journaling you have lines cute designs coffee stain paper a really thin paper here I use modeling paste with a stencil on a coffee uh, coffee stained tracing paper here it's that special cotton paper again with the little birds printed there and I attached it on a, a vintage music sheet and I've, I've used a pin just I won't remove it because I don't want to put it back but you can see it's just a pin just a cute small pin I'm going to show you like that so it's removable but unless you have a good reason why I would leave it there <laughs> All right, this is the other side of my uh, photocopy paper that printed the um, plastic doily on with the coffee. Cute. Modeling paste here. And uh, one of my French documents again, and I glued them. I glued that coffee stain paper on top because it was too white for me. There was too white, too much white together. So I created the pocket and inside the pocket I've put one of my cute little houses. So it's kind of a card, but you could add papers there. You can use it for journaling as well. And a little bit of pink. And here we have vintage wallpaper it's a real wallpaper and it has those uh, teacups so i have a french teacup kit with tickets so i've put that here to decorate the page and here we have so we have that cute piece of wallpaper and one of my french document printed on tracing paper or no it's the onion skin paper onion skin paper look at that it looks real so just fold it like that and it's I've put a little piece of paper it gives a little bit more dimension here and the stain from the rust stays on that little piece of paper instead of going on the real ephemera French document from my digital kit and this page I did it on camera that pocket with my mason jar kit a wax seal I just added this piece of lace here too it was missing something at the top here and here you go that's the back and I just took an old cotton cotton strip and I'm using it as a closure because this journal is getting bulky so I hope it inspired you and I'll put all the link in the description below for the digital kits I've used but mostly it was my French documents digital kit that I've used there uh, with decorations here and there from other kits thanks for watching everyone and see you in the next video bye bye